Well, I think as a significant energy user, actually, there are quite a number of policy uh, instruments that are going to impact on our business that are going to fundamentally affect the cost structure of our business. It's going to add cost to our energy bill. Uh, it may not be uh, an energy intensive business, uh, but we rely very heavily on significant energy supplies for our own use, and we rely very heavily on the energy intensive sectors such as steel and aluminium manufacture. I think we need uh, I think we need joined up policies really. I think we've been working very hard as a business over the last five or, or ten years even to try and reduce our energy consumption in the first instance to reduce cost, but perhaps over the last five years a, a really significant focus on reducing our carbon impacts uh, on static emissions as well as working on the carbon performance of our, of our vehicles. And I think what we've seen is uh, perhaps over the last few years a little bit of disjointed policy making and change of heart. Um, and what's really important when you're trying to plan the business's future over the long term is to see some consistency of purpose and also to see that the various initiatives actually join up and don't overlap and reduce the administrative burden to businesses. And we've seen some significant administrative burdens in terms of reporting, in terms of the mechanisms for various incentives and tax uh, and money recycling schemes uh, placed on businesses over recent years. And that, that itself drives some inefficiency. I think the CBI has a very difficult role to play, but a very important one. Um, you know, we're, uh, we're an organisation supported by members who are both energy users, energy generators, um, and uh, really the, the CBI's task is to try and bring together, if not a consensus, at least a balanced um, spectrum of perspectives and make sure that all of those voices are heard uh, and perhaps try and find the, not just the middle way, but the most appropriate way for the voice of industry to be heard uh, and lobbied in government.